I started a video games company back in the 1990s. Nobody knew that it was going to be any good. Just don't want to see my slide. But we knew it was going to be good. How do you know the shape of something? Uh, MMO gaming is now a $20 billion industry. And I started my company like this. Volume, please, in the videos. I was hit by a car. And I raised a little bit of money from that. And we built this. Some applause, please. Now, MMO games are now a $20 billion industry, and I think AR games are also going to be a $20 billion industry. You know, Pokemon Go is arguably the only product, or at least the biggest product, that's ever made real money in AR or VR, right? And I know that you, that you, VR, that you VR people are a bit jealous of that, but uh, we still love you. What's the shape of things to come? So how do we project 20 years ahead, just like in 1994, we were thinking about MMO games? I had a math professor once who said, there's no way for the human brain to really think about four-dimensional objects, the tesseract on the right. But we can think about its attributes, think about its shape. So what is the shape of the AR gaming market to come? Well, we figure that out by figuring out what it's, what's it good for. For the tesseract, we know that its corners are right angles. We know that its sides will always be regular and the same size, right? So in AR gaming, what's it good for? Well, it's good for giving physical direction. If you have to be told where to go or what to do, AR is really good at that. AR is really good also for socializing. Humans are social animals, right? And this is the part where you were like, ah, oh, ha, 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 or some applause or something from my, from my dear old dad who's, who's a birthday yesterday. Let's, let's try that again. It's also good for socializing. Oh, you guys are the worst. OK. <laughs> now, humans like to socialize. They like to be interactive. It's part of our evolution, part of our heritage, right? Now, I, I love VR. My VR friends, I love you. But I do not want to wear a prison on my head. I want the computer to be part of my world. I don't want to be sucked into the computer's world. The computer should be immersed with me. And playing regular video games is not, is not much better. I'm responsible for, for part of this. People stay at home in their mom's basement playing video games all day with their brain is kind of in the computer, not physically, but they're sort of thinking in the computer mode. Well, how can we get them out and about into the real world, which is how humans have evolved? Well, running around in the real world, your heart is pumping faster. Your whole blood chemistry is up. Depressed people don't spend a lot of time walking around because walking around makes you happy. So walking around in the real world sort of automatically creates for a good experience. No wonder Pokemon Go is so much fun because it really just gets you out and doing things. This is the kind of AR experience that we should be having. We can do that in AR for sure. But you know what? I can also extract money. Get this. You guys know about team building, right? Team building turns strangers into friends and makes teams more efficient. That means more money. Well, can you do team building in an MMO? Maybe. But in AR, you could totally do that. So now we're making money off these freaking AR games. That's pretty good. In fact, just about everything in an AR game is better. Your feeling of being socially accepted, making friends, it's better in the real world. Being thrilled by the crazy stuff you're seeing and doing, the challenges, that's better in the real world. Your feeling of being appreciated, you guys know that all the badges for gamification, those are all about basically bragging to your friends. So you want to feel appreciated, better in the real world. And then tribalism, oh, so this is my, my Boston team, the Red Sox, people love to root for their teams, right? Ah, if you think that bonding with people online is pretty good, wait until you bond with them in real life, which you kind of can't do in Pokemon Go. Wish there was some game that was better. Who's going to make that game? I don't know, John. OK, well, turns out that my company's making a game called Big Movement Gaming. In Big Movement Gaming, you move in the real world. But you're also joining big factions of players, big movements of players. And it's a new design theory. 
This is the first announcement ever in the world. So you can say that you were here first. For the announcement of big movement gaming, we think it's where Pokemon Go is going. And we're working with a TV movie property that I can't talk about, but it's possibly one of these. Here's how we're going to use it in an economy. So we think that AR is going to become an economy through gamification. What if I rewarded players who volunteered for charities like Habitat for Humanity, I rewarded them with points in the game. Now they're doing real work. It's like, Jesus, these games can be used to accomplish real work and to make teams more efficient. How else can we make, make some freaking money off AR games? You've heard of the gig economy. Everyone is so lonely. Have you seen Mr. Robot, anybody? He lives in New York, and he's so lonely. <laughs> the Iron Fist, he lives in New York, 8 million people plus, but he's so lonely. People want to be connected. What if when you call for your Uber ride, you can choose a driver who's Team Edward or Team Jacob? Or what if you can choose a driver who wants to talk about music or the Democrats, either pro or con, your choice? What if I could choose the business that I frequent based on factions in the game? The Wolf Clan or the Bear Clan. People take tribalism seriously in online gaming, but they take it even more seriously in the real world, right? So here's how to put together the connection between AR gaming and making some money. And we're going to do it right now, if you guys are awake enough. So, number one. Form tribal groups. I'm going to divide them into, into two halves, starting whoop, right here. This half, what's this team's name? Blue. Blue. This half, what's this team's name? Red. Oh, red. Very creative names. Okay, good. Blue team, red team. <laughs> team building makes for efficiency. Let's do some of that. Let's take just 20 seconds, turn to your neighbor, and say something complimentary. Do that right now, please. Don't talk to that team, that's your enemy. Don't talk to the enemy's team. Now, 10 seconds, say something taunting but not too mean at the other team. Red team, are you gonna win? Blue team, you have you got, are you gonna bring the game? Okay, man, tribalism, great. Now, we're gonna show, not tell what to do. You know, AI is great for reducing physical confusion. So I'm gonna show you 35 Pokeballs. And I'm going to create shared incentives. Uh, red and blue are not the best team names, but if the team that wins this, I'm going to name something for you in the game, which is based on some major TV or movie property that I can't talk about. And I won't call it blue, I'll call it whatever your name is if you want to, your name you. So, so, you're, so you're working for the benefit of the team, and you'll be able to tell all your friends, hey, you know that thing in the game? I was there that day, and we won, because we're the best. Okay, number five, make it fun, mission accomplished. Great, so the goal is I want all these balls to touch one wall and then the other. The team who does the most balls first wins. I'm gonna time you 60 seconds. Oh fuck, do we have to get up now? Yeah man, let's do this right now. Who wants their name in the game? Ready, go. Touch one wall and then the other. Here we go, here we go. Five seconds. Now, Mark, you're in charge, so you're going to admit it. You're going to adjudicate which, which team is doing the most. We'll do a show of hands afterwards. 60 seconds. We have, we have 40 seconds left. I don't think we need the whole 60 seconds. I'm going to call it in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, please, please take your seats. That was only 30 seconds. How much did I pay you? I paid you freaking nothing. At least the first guy got a dollar. Come on. Okay, we're going to tell this. Please be honest. So hands up if you touch the ball to both walls or use two hands if you did two. Hands up. Okay, Mark, who, who won? It's looking like Team Blue to me. That's Team Honey Badger. Okay, Team Honey Badger. We're going to name something Honey Badger in the game. Now, for my dear old dad, who's elderly on his deathbed, he's got emphysema and other diseases I'm going to make up. He wants a standing ovation. Have I earned it? Guys, help me out. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? You guys can keep these balls, too. I'm not, I'm not taking them home. Imagine me this morning. 
blowing up the balls. Oh, that wasn't the gesture that you thought I was making, was it? Jesus. Okay, I have time for maybe one question. Make it a good one. John, how are you so attractive and handsome? I don't know. It just comes to me. I, I work on this. Three and a half minutes. We, we, we do have time for a question. Yeah. Do the runners up get a name? <laughs> oh, I think the runners up have to do me a favor by finding me an investor or another speaking opportunity. <laughs> but maybe then you're able to get in the game. And how much time do we have? We have like 30 seconds left. Time for one more quick no, question. I mean, how much time do we have to find you an Oh, yeah, well, after this, just mob me. If, have you seen those little machines? It's like a cabinet, and the, the cash like, flows around with like, the, the tornado. I want you guys to do that to me, because we're fundraising. Other questions? Yeah. Is it a lot like English, or is it beyond Well, I'd like to think it's beyond. Uh, I just showed you how we use tribalism, which Pokemon Go doesn't have. How we make friends, people, which Pokemon Go doesn't do. I mean, you can accidentally make friends, but shit, I could accidentally make friends walking down the sidewalk. Our game will make friends, if you want to make friends, right? So I think that big moving gaming is the next big thing. But if you guys would our blog about that, then I guess you'd think that too. Last question, how about a more serious question? I hate that we're behind schedule. I'm gonna do a favor for the next speaker and just end it there. Thank you very much.